Look what I got in the mail today. Got a package from Jack Fab. So I appreciate it, Jesse and Jason. This is the This is the extendulator spacer. Amazing quality on that. Amazing. All this is done with the uh, CNC machine and water jet. When I've seen these before, I always thought they was all done with CNC machine. I had no idea it was all done with a water jet on the on the bigger part. Actually, the holes are too. It's all cut out with the water jet. That's amazing that they can get water pressure that strong to cut that thick of material out. Y'all have quite an operation going on down there. That's amazing. So I appreciate it. Jason and Jesse and wow I wish I had a business partner I can't even get my wife to run cameras anyway this is all the goodies in here this is the bolts instruction manual and my wife done grabbed one of these had two of these yeah I appreciate it guys see we got got more jack fab uh, stickers one of these is going up here for my first sponsor so I'll have to whichever one shows up the best Put it up here somewhere. So I'm anxious to get this sponsored video done. So we'll have to take the car back apart and uh, put this spacer in. We'll try to get that video done here pretty quick. Although I would like to make a I haven't even actually drove the car since I put the since I put the uh, intake manifold on. I've got in this week's video we're working on the on the bottle heater, so I've been working on that, and I would like to do a few runs on that. I'd like to get the the tune put in it and make a few runs with it before I add any more things to it but yeah we're going to try to get this video done here pretty quick but yeah but you can get these extendulator spacers on jack fab for around 199 so these will add these will add uh, more low-end torque on your on your engine. Low-end torque is what sits you back in your seat. That's the fast takeoff. So that's what you need is something to give you more torque. Then we've got all the instructions that goes along with it. We'll go through all these. basically going to be doing an install video we're going to go through these instructions very well basically going to be a video of these instructions showing you the tools you need the install process let me show you where this spacer goes under the intake manifold the extendulator intake spacer 2012 plus LFX engines. Install instructions and disclaimer. 
This is all your tools you need. So Jason and Jesse, I appreciate it. Them are the guys from Jack Fab. Now we'll go on to today's video. Okay, you see the this is the fuel line, this is the nitrous line. Got some clearance problems here. You go add more parts and raise it up. The Jack Fab extendulator. Go raising that up another three quarters of an inch, we're gonna have a problem with this. So those that know me, those that know me at all knows that this is not gonna be good enough. I like things that's really nice and neat and lays in there nice. I mean, it don't have to be perfect, but I mean, this is just not, this is not going to cut it. So, let's fix that. There, that's much better. Got these little 90s here. I think it's about $22 for both of them. That's going to fix my clearance problems. I was uh, on eBay going back to my nitrous outlet, the system that I bought, and what pops up in the recommended products, exactly what I needed. So I was glad to find that. I was thinking about buying a, another line that had a built-in 90 on it, a stainless steel 90, but it was, I think it was $22 a piece, and then you'd have to buy another piece to add, add this onto that. It'd make it even longer. That made it too long. This worked out really good. Just add the 90s on it. So that will fix our clearance problem. Got stickers put in. What do you think of that, guys? It looks good. Hello, welcome to Camaro Mod Channel. Hope everybody's having a great day. Today we're working on the bottle heater. As the temperatures gets cooler, we're gonna have a way to heat that nitrous up, get the pressures up so we can run that nitrous. This nitrous outlet bottle heater, this kit's around 209, you can get it on eBay. Comes with your relays, your wiring, your switch, black wiring, all your connections and your it's like a T connector and this is for your your bottle pressure it adjusts your pressure it's adjustable right here one turn is equal to 150 psi of pressure you want to kick on I believe around 900 psi but it automatically adjusts coming on and off but I got the wrong thread compound. So I'm going to have to, I'm just going to have to get some red Loctite. So what I'm going to have to do, it says on the back here, don't use with oxygen. Nitrous oxide is oxidizer. Then we, and it's running a thousand PSI. We don't want to take a chance. We don't want to blow nothing up. So I'm just going to have to wind up ordering some uh, red Loctite put on these fittings. So we're just gonna loose fit these today. We're gonna go ahead and get everything wired up. But this one goes with the bottle heater. It it, it adjusts your it's a pressure switch. It kicks it on and off, keeps it at a certain certain pressure. So that way you, it's a lot safer to run. You don't flip on your bottle heater and then forget about it. So, and this one here goes to the PSN1. 
the gauge up front. So these will, will screw together like this. Like I say, I'm going to have to get some red Loctite because I'm not going to take a chance on using this one. It connects together like this. Then it screws in on your, right on your bottle. And this is where your line goes to your, your nitrous plate. So, this is a wiring diagram up here. The black wire goes to your battery. Your red, red wire goes to your pressure switch. Your white wire is the ground. And your green wire goes to the, goes to this. Your bottle heater. And then one of these go to your ground also. It's real easy to wire up. This uh, this red wire we got coming from the from the switches up front. We've already got it ran back there. But this kit also comes with a a connector that you can unplug. You put on these you put on these right here. We'll go over some of these. in the instructions here. When using the manifold, never operate your heater when the bottle valve is closed. The pressure switch cannot read the internal bottle pressure when the valve is closed. So you can't run your heater when your valve is closed or there's no way the, the switch is gonna know what it's doing. So that's another thing to keep in mind. Never touch the heating element, that's this right here, when it is turned on. The surface temperature may reach temperatures as much as 400 degrees. That's pretty warm. That's like your oven in the house. Never operate your heater unless the heating element is strapped firmly around the nitrous bottle. Failure to do so will result in element burnout. This is not covered by warranty. Okay, do not attempt to operate the heater without the heavy duty relay properly installed per the wiring diagram. And these are all in big letters, so it's pretty important. Then it goes into, you can get these instructions right off a nitrous outlet website. Just look for the X series bottle heater if you get this kit right here. This is a pretty expensive kit, but it should be pretty good. It's like I say, it's around two hundred and nine dollars. Okay, then it goes into wiring the bottle heater, adjusting the pressure switch. Read that real quick. Um, adjusting the pressure switch. To set the pressure switch, turn the turn the set screw to the right to increase bottle pressure and to the left to lower bottle pressure. Only make adjustments of one turn at a time giving the bottle at least 10 minutes to stabilize between adjustments. One full turn will adjust the bottle pressure to approximately 150 PSI. An X series bottle pressure gauge will be needed to monitor the bottle pressure. So we had the bottle, the bottle gauge, pressure gauge up front. We'll be able to off the PSN one gauge. So we have that covered. We're gonna go ahead and do this install, but I'll have to order some red Loctite so I can uh, make sure this is all done right. I don't want no leaks, and I want to make sure that I use the right, right stuff. This is just too iffy. Make sure you don't use any kind of, um, like Teflon tape. That's another no-no. So just keep that in mind. So let's go out to the car and let's get started. Okay, we got it all wired up. 
this is what you should come up with. One of these wires goes up to the up front to the switch to the bottle heater. Another one goes to the relay. When you plug these in, it don't matter which which way they are. This is just a just a switch. I mean, it's it's either on or off basically. And this in here goes to PSN one, the gauge up front. And then you got. wires for the bottle heater itself but this switch here is adjustable so if it's getting too hot you can turn it counterclockwise if it's not getting hot enough you turn it clockwise it needs to kick on about 900 pounds that's your your nitrous switch there for your bottle heater and this here just screws right into the the fitting on the nitrous bottle. So that's what we came up with. I still got to put Loctite on these, so I don't have these very tight at all. So I still got to do that. Now we'll look up underneath. White wire here goes to ground it comes off the relay this red wire here goes to the pressure switch up on top up here it's one of these wires and then you got green wire that's your power wire that goes up here one of these are power one of these are positive and one is negative and it don't matter which way you plug it in on the bottle heater in this relay I need to find a place to put it so we'll probably stick it down here low on the battery Just keep it out of the way but on here you got this is your ground wire for your bottle heater this is the ground wire for the uh, for the relay and you got one power wire over here on this side it goes over here to the black wire, which runs through the relay out to the green wire. So if you get confused, just look at the just look at the wiring diagram. That's how you wire it up. When you make your connections, I'd be sure to wrap them up with some black tape. But I did wind up putting these here kind of connectors on there. Just kind of you pull apart. Put your put your hot side over here on this end. This could be a power, this could be a positive or negative, but you want this here protected. We can plug these in like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and cover these up with black tape. Just to be on the safe side and keep them together. Like I say, this will screw into the this will screw right into the bottle feeding on a nitrous bottle. One step closer. <laughs> 